So let's take a look at what's gonna be in your fridge, or maybe what's not gonna be in your fridge. So when you go to the grocery store, there's this big, beautiful produce section with all these vibrant colors, all these different options, all of which you can eat. And most of them are gonna go in the fridge when we get home, but some won't. So for example, a lot of your fruits, like bananas, they don't need to go in the fridge. Same for tomatoes. Tomatoes actually prefer to be on the counter. And bell peppers also do well there too. But for the most part, our greens are gonna go in our fridge. The big thing is our leaf greens. I love leafy greens. I put them into almost every meal that I can. I try to slip them in at breakfast sometimes, but your greens, your lettuce, your spinach, your kale, your collards, your chard, whatever happens to be in season, we're going to get those leafy greens and the best way to store them is to wrap them just ever so gently in a damp paper towel or a damp towel. Just wrap them up and put them in your fridge and then they'll stay nice and beautiful and crisp for you because you've probably been to the store and they have the little thunderstorm with the little misting same concept just at home and not as cool other things we want to have in our fridge. So maybe you're going to have your non-dairy milk in there, whether you have almond milk or soy milk or oat milk, whatever milk you like, you're going to have that in there. You're also going to have a lot of condiments. I have, I'm not kidding, at least 10 different mustards in my fridge. I love mustard. It's a great way to jazz up a meal. Sometimes I'll make something and it's just, you know, maybe beans and rice and some collards and I'm like, what can I do to spice this up? Well, I'll use one of my flavorful mustards or hot sauce. I have like six different hot sauces in my fridge or maybe salsa. A lot of different salsas can pull a meal together and be tasty. And so I have like peach and pineapple and regular and chunky and hot, you name it. Lots of different condiments are in my fridge so I can make those easy, simple, really satisfying meals. Other things you might wanna have in your fridge would be um, some of your more delicate fruits like a, a peach or Actually, citrus fruits can also go on the counter, but really keep those foods in your, in your fridge so they stay fresh for you and really keep it loaded. When I open my fridge, I just see all this different color and it makes me excited. It makes me want to eat things. Um, but really explore that produce section of your grocery store. When I went plant-based, I basically rediscovered my grocery store because there was like, I bought apples and maybe oranges and there was all of this food that I never tried and I found out that after years of thinking I hated mushrooms, I love mushrooms. I eat mushrooms all the time. You'll always find mushrooms in my fridge. I fell in love with carrots and parsnips. I always seem to buy celery. I have zucchini and yellow squash. When the squashes come in season, I just, I buy them in droves, but those are also good for the counter, not the fridge. And just try new things. Every week, go into the produce section and grab a new vegetable to try. If you thought you didn't like green beans, well, maybe you should try them again. See if you like them in a different way. But really get those condiments and spices because they make such a difference.